Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been away for a little while but I am back now. Um, if you want to know where I haven't been you can watch my a video I put up before this and I basically explain everything of um yeah that's basically that because I don't even want to talk about that anymore. So this is going to be a makeup look video. And this is going to be the no makeup makeup look. Um, I have explained in other videos before that some days I just don't wear makeup at all. And um, I'm fine with that. Like this is my face right now with nothing on it. And I can go outside like that and don't even care. Um, and if there's other times where I will even take blog post pictures and I will have throw on my sunglasses throw on a bright lip and uh, that would be it like I wouldn't even fill in my eyebrows nothing so this makeup look is going to be the look I will wear if I, there is something I need to go there is like a presence that I need to have and basically look somewhat put together I will wear this makeup look because it looks like I have nothing on but it looks flawless at the same time like not too much um this also would be a good makeup look if you are a young kid or even a young adult whatever just basically a person who is starting off with makeup um this will be a very natural way to go for you so yeah um let's get started so the first thing that i do is put on a sun protectant so this is a sunscreen by hands 10 um, and it's a natural sunscreen and it's in SPF 50 so it looks like this I did get this in my ipsy bag and I love it so where I live right now it is very um, sunny and hot every day so it doesn't during the day it doesn't get lower than like I feel like a 80 like it'll never get lower than 80 which I've noticed since being here so I need to protect it because it gets higher than 100 like the other day it was 106 um, and I did get my burn I did get burnt and if you probably noticed I do look a tad bit darker that is why so I put this on um, this is water resistant, I believe. Yeah, I think it's water resistant. Um, I wore this yesterday all day and it was perfectly fine on the face. Um, make sure to get your neck. Okay, so that is on. And as you can see, it does make you look, of course, a bit shiny, but it's not like too shiny. Like I already have oily skin, but this works perfectly. Okay, so after I do that, um, I like to go in with this Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer. Looks like this. You guys have seen this a lot in my videos um, because I actually really, really like this product. And this is funny because I actually got this product in an Ipsy bag too. So with this... I like to put just a little like that on my finger, wipe it, and I like to go down my nose with this um, on my forehead like this. And then I grab some more. I put some right here on the kids' pillow. And I put some on the chin. And then I will get some and I will highlight right here. Ah! I did put too much. <laughs> and I'll put some on the other side. Okay, and then now I will just like blend it in. And I use this brush. This is the um, e.l.f complexion brush and I will just blend everything in so 
So it looks like that. Yeah. Okay, so next I would go in with um, just an eyeliner. I usually put on the powder last because I let this dry some. So I'll go into eyeliner and I usually use a liquid eyeliner. I noticed that when I use a pencil charcoal type of eyeliner, it does seem to smudge. Um, and I don't have a waterproof one, which I probably need to waterproof everything. So I've been using this L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Telescopic um, liquid eyeliner. So you have to shake it up. Okay, and then when I put this on, I just put this on naturally. I don't put a wing or nothing crazy. Just line the top of the eye. Um, like that so I just line it um, if a wing comes out wing comes out I'm not trying to do a wing so that is what that looks like so I just line it and next I'll go in with my mascara. My mascara is L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original. And it is in Black is Black. Um, this has to be my favorite mascara. And I will put that on only my top lashes. Is that okay so now I will go in with the powders I like to personally use two powders um, I use this Revlon nearly naked powder in 040 and it's in medium deep it looks like this um, yeah and inside looks like this it's like a nice it's a light basically medium brown color and I will use the elf powder brush and I will roll my brush in there and put this on of that product on I will go in with the fit me on um, the Maybelline fit me in 355 coconut um, and it looks like this I've been trying to use this up but for some reason this product will last you a very long time so if you are looking for a new light powder but gives you somewhat of a coverage and actually it's really really pretty on the skin I will um, suggest you guys te test out the Maybelline fit me line so I will roll my brush in there and then put this on top of that because this color is a little bit dark, like a tad bit darker for my skin. So that's why I like to mix them. Okay, so once you have some of that on, I like to go in now with the e.l.f. eyebrow lifter and filler thing. 
and I will lightly fill in my eyebrows um, with this. So I will just like lightly fill them in, draw them on, and I'll do the same to the other side. Just lightly like that, and then I'll use the lifter side and put some on because I do have um, to clean these babies up some because there is hair growing, but I actually want the hair to grow because the last time I tweezed my eyebrows I actually tweezed a little bit too much off, but as you can see they always grow back. So I do the same to the other side, put some lifter, go up, down, okay, so once the lifter's on, make, um, sure that that white is kind of out, and yeah, you might have to go back in with the filler and kind of fill the tail back in, but I love this pencil a lot. So that's for the eyebrows. And now I will go in with my bronzer, which I kind of use this as a highlighter because this is way too light to be a, um, something that you basically contour with um so i use this basic highlighter and it's the wet n wild color iconic bronzer with spf 15 in 739 ticket to brazil it's this big old thing um and then you open it up and it looks like this if you're wondering why mine still looks pretty neat it's because i usually dip my brush inside this uh, sunburst over here so the writing hasn't gotten messed up yet so I'll go in with my elf blush brush which I have um, two or three of them so I use one for blush one for highlighting get what I mean so I will pick some of this up I'll blow off some excess powder and I will do basically what I did with this pixie I basically do a, what I did with this um, Pixie Flawless Beauty Primer, and we will basically make that show more. So, Okay, so the last makeup product I usually put on is just a regular um, lip gloss, nothing fancy. Um, if I want, sometimes, like I said, I'll throw on just a lipstick and I'll be usually wearing glasses or whatever. I don't know. Um, but what I've noticed is for upkeep reasons and how it gets so hot, lip gloss right now, it's, for me, is the perfect like thing ever. And especially in this color, this is Revlon Color Burst 022 in uh, Sunset Peach. It's just a Revlon lip gloss. Um, for lip products, I'm very, very obsessed with Revlon. I don't know why. Um, but I'll just take some of this and put it on. And it looks like this. See how it goes on? Kind of shiny, but not like little kid shiny. And it's not so clear. There's a hint of a peachy pink color. But, yeah. 
So to set this and make sure that it lasts all day because I, you know, we are wearing makeup. Um, I'll use this e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set um, Spray. Um, do I know if this works? No. Uh, <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. Do you guys feel like it works for you guys? Because to me it feels like I'm kind of like spraying a misty water on my face. Like just misting water. But yeah. We're just going to do this anyway. So I usually hold it back some. And then. Yeah. Spray it. And then I usually just like fan it. Okay. So that is everything that I use to do my no makeup makeup look. Um, I know what I do is very, very short. But, um, and not that many products, but it is a no makeup makeup look. Like, you don't need all the products to be, like, pound on your face. Because then what's the point of saying you're wearing no makeup? So, yeah. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to thumbs it up. And also, leave a comment with what video you would like to see or a comment just saying hi. And make sure to hit that subscribe button. I don't know where the subscribe button is, but I think it's down here. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and be my friend. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.